Okay, um, this is the. Uh, okay, this is the living with the TC shocks. Um, went for a bit of a ride yesterday on my son's Continental, which is the stock shocks. So they've got to say the di ride difference between the two is quite noticeable. Um, Although I think for me this bike needs to be up a little bit. This is set at the minimum height, which I'll get a measurement for. And yeah, so hopefully um, we'll find this interesting. There's the people heading towards Melbourne. Finishing work, not sure what the time is, about four o'clock I'm guessing, I don't know, lights are on, so it'll be about five, five thirty. And hopefully I don't get wet, but behind me the clouds are pretty black, and threatening rain. This is actually a dangerous intersection, this. It's, uh, sometimes people do U-turns there, coming towards me, um, when they're supposed to give way. So yeah. This road is quite bumpy in places um, and the bike just soaks it up, it's really good, I hardly feel it. Um, my bit of my backstory is I had a um, prostate surgery back in March and I still get pretty tender. Um, this bike I can ride for about an hour before I really have to get off. My old Ninja 250, um, that was about 20 minutes and I had to really get off. So, and it actually did me some damage. So yeah, so we sold that and we got this and it is an amazing bike. Um, my wife loves it, everybody almost fights to ride this thing. Um, but I was just talked to my son before and he said, and I have to, have to admit that that GT, there's something about it that it is really nice to ride. I really like it. It is really good, it is a nice ride. It's a, Beautiful bike. It's, it's his is the Mr. Clean version, um, which means it's got the chrome tank, and this is the diesel and dust version of the Interceptor, and that means it's got a chrome tank. So they're twins, and we get comments all the time, and I love it. The usual, the usual comment is, "Oh wow, amazing bike." Um, is it, is it a res rest restoration? We go, uh, uh, no, sir, it's a, um, actually a new bike. Brand spanking new. So yeah, I'm just going to take around and behind the Shell Refinery, or Viva Refinery as it is now. But all the locals still call it Shell. Along the waterfront here, it's really good. No one pulling me too close. Just a pleasant change, you get some assholes along this road. So this is um, in behind. John Grammar, I think it is. So this is where Prince Charles went to school for a while. And I forgot to do my top button up on my jacket and I'm getting cold. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Getting up close on the road, Richard. So yeah, so this road um, isn't as smooth as it looks. It is a little bit bumpy. And to be honest, I can't feel a single bump. This, this uh, interceptor's got the uh, touring seat on it. Um, and that's a big step up. The the original seat, uh, no, nah, I, I can't ride that at all. It is just way too hard for, for my delicate bum at the moment. Wow, this is amazing. So, yeah, oh, put my blinker on. That's one of my big faults, is the blinker. Anyway, these shocks, um, Twisted Moto and Geelong put them on for us. Um, and my wife is just so much more confident on the bike now. She can flat foot it, because uh, she's a bit of a pocket rocket. And uh, 
she just totally enjoys this bike. Where before she just didn't want to ride it. Um, so yeah, and I got her this bike because um, I had some redundancy come on when I just after I had my operation. Ray went, was pretty hard on Ray as well, and she was the strong one, and I certainly wasn't. Um, so we bought it for her. Um, well, I bought it for her out of my redundancy from my old job, which was pretty darn cool, I think. So this is the end of Hovels Creek. Um, yeah, people take their dogs for a walk, but man, isn't it pretty? So yeah, that's pretty cool. Everything's looking good. Feels great. It's nice and comfy. So yeah, and here we go. Do back, pick it up. Oh yeah, this is actually this. this oh. <laughs> That's what you're doing. Watching where you're going, where you want to go. Oh. Okay, I'll take that round shell. Uh, it looks like I'm going to get rained on. That's what I was going to do that I forgot. I was going to take my jacket up. That's getting a bit chilly. Usual story when you oh, slippery on the side, so be careful. There's tiny little stones there, and it is so 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 slippery yeah. here it is that was the moon on the side Okay, so here's the Shell Refinery, we one of the industrial areas around Geelong in Victoria. This is a great little road, speed limit's 80 k. You take this your wide type wides or you know, trail braking. Buffering, lots of dogs around here, and they're not always on the lead. They're required to be, but they're not, so just go on your bike, just be careful. These bikes are fantastic, I love them. Oh, I'll take you along the waterfront um, through the industrial area and end up at North Beach and there we'll call it quits I think for this video Uh, I've got a Chewy GTA 2. Um, I'm going to do a review on it. Um, so it's, uh, well, it's a really good helmet and it's really safe. I'm, to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed. There were reviews online saying how quiet this helmet is, but in reality it's not. It's um, quite noisy and at 100Ks I think it's actually damaged my hearing. So, yeah, that is super, super disappointing. 
No, I won't give too much away, but the sun visor on this is next to useless, so I don't use it very often. It's optically not very clear. I've cleaned it a thousand times, and it steams up and works instantly. Even on a relatively warm day. Okay, hopefully the cops not going to turn the lock thing around. Gotta watch trucks around here. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it around this way because it's um the road's pretty bumpy and the suspension just sucks it all up. Be careful in case that cop does turn around. Because the uh heavy cameras on your helmet's a little bit iffy here, depends entirely on the cop. Um I know one guy got away with it, went to court, but I'd rather not go to court. It must have been this unusual BMW that's actually signalling. He must have paid, filled up his blinker fluid. Let's see if I can get around a few corners. Yeah, it is really cool around here. Um, I often take this um, way, that coming the other way back, back from work, so it's a bit of fun. Okay, he didn't turn around. At least he's not chasing me. Can see why I come this way. It is really cool. Sometimes you get some really big ships in here. Container ships come in. And fairly soon the um, Spirit of Tasmania is going to be leaving from here, which is going to be fantastic for us. Just a short boat trip over to Tassie, some of the best riding roads in the world. Around here we've got some good riding roads as well, so I'll pull in here. And, um, Call it a quit. Can do a quick walk around at the end. No other beginning. Receptor that needs a clean. I'm not even sure how many K's we've done on it. But it's probably done about a thousand, I think. Moving on, that's the Geelong waterfront. Thank you. I think they're coming along, and yeah, those shocks there definitely worth getting. Uh, and they actually come with a link to 
increase it so you can raise the bike up a little bit if you want um, or restore it to its normal height so if I ever inherit this bike off my wife I'll, I'll put it up a little bit and we're going to do the peg relocation kit because those pegs are annoying but yeah you know, in saying that it's something you do get used to so yeah thank you how many k's has it done One thousand six hundred and forty-two, and we get about two hundred and fifty k's out of a tank, or about three hundred. Pretty cool. Okay.